Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Uh, does anybody else not make their bed when their pet is sleeping on it? Because currently Bruno is asleep on my bed and I did not make my bed. But anyways, I wanted to come on here and show you guys what I got for my birthday. For anyone who is a Disney fan like I am, you're going to be really interested in what I got. Most of it is Disney. There's only two things that were given to me that isn't Disney. And then I bought a couple of things of my birthday money that I thought I would show you. So I'm just going to get right into showing you what I got. So I have a friend, I lived with her for four years while we did our university degree. And so she knows me quite well. She knows that my favorite princess out of all of the princesses is Ariel from The Little Mermaid. And you're going to figure out that that is my like all time favorite whenever someone is wondering what to get me if it has Ariel on it I'm gonna love it it's pretty much as easy as that so I have quite a bit of Ariel things but the first two things I'm gonna show you were from one of my really good friends and so she got me one of these little guys um, it is an Ariel lip smacker um, it just twists on the bottom and then it kind of comes out like an egg, kind of a shape. Um, I've already used it a couple times. It smells really good. It's very summery. It's grapefruit twist, I think is the... Mermazing grapefruit is what it's called. Um, but I love this. I love lift Smackers. I use them all the time. Um, and the other thing, because she knows I love blankets, I love Ariel. And she also got me this blanket. It looks really bad. I don't know what happened to it, but I love this blanket. It is so soft. Like, I don't even, I can't even describe the softness. It's like mink fur or something. It's just, it's so, so soft. And I can't wait to get it out of the packaging so I can actually use it. Uh, the only reason I have it in here still is just so that I can film this video. Um, so those were the two things that she got me. I'm in love with them. She couldn't have picked anything better. The next few things I'm going to show you are from my boyfriend. I'm just going to go ahead and show you what I got starting with the non-Disney items. Um, so one thing that he got me, it doesn't... I think Seelin is the brand. I'm not quite sure. It came with like a little note. It was in uh, an Amazon gift bag. There's 12 sheets and all they are is little templates for if you're bullet journaling. Um, there's something for pretty much everything that you're going to need. Like those ones had dashes on the bottom, um, different banners. This one has all like your different social medias and just all kinds of cool different shapes. I get some keys, like key to the Magic Kingdom maybe if uh, I ever go back to Disney in the near future. Different types of weather patterns. But they're really cool and I honestly, I can't wait. I, I do bullet journal and maybe I will bring you guys along once I have a better camera set up. But anyways, he gave me these stencils, and I, I did tell him that I really wanted them. Pretty much everything he got me, I was like, oh my gosh, I need this in my life. And that's why he bought them for me. But the other thing that he bought, I was saying in another video that I love Leanne Vogel's cookbook. And she had just came out with an actual cookbook. The one that I had is just kind of like the explanation of the diet and it, it just has a few recipes in it but he did get me this copy of the di keto diet cookbook and I am so excited I haven't even looked at it yet I was so busy this weekend and I, I didn't bring it with me to my parents so I'm really excited to look through this I know I was watching some of her podcasts I think that she kind of talks about different recipes in here and it just all sounded so good so I'm really excited to try this cookbook 
and maybe I will have some cook with me's coming up in the near future and you can have some of these recipes as well. The next few things are all Ariel. They're all Disney, they're all Ariel. Um, and the first thing that I will show you, uh, he got me a puzzle. I love puzzles and I love Disney puzzles especially. Um, so this is the scene, it's the kiss the girl scene. Uh, it looks really pretty and I can't wait to do it, but the only thing that I'm worried about is not doing it quick enough because my cats like to kind of knock the pieces off onto the floor and then my dog likes to eat them. So it wasn't so bad before the puppy, but now that we have Bruno, it's not the greatest. He, he really does like to chew these the puzzle pieces up like they're a treat or something when they're really not but I cannot wait to start this puzzle I'll probably start it mm, in the next couple of days and I will probably finish it in the next couple of days after <laughs> but it's really pretty it has a lot of the characters there's Sebastian here Scuttle up here uh, flounder down here there's, but there's also down here there's like a movie strip down along the bottom with all kinds of other Disney movies and I do believe that's part of the puzzle it's not just there for show and uh, of course Ariel and Eric in the boat about to kiss so I'm super happy with this puzzle he picked out a good one I love doing puzzles and I cannot wait to do this one the next thing he got me, um, I had seen in a store. There's very few stores here in Nova Scotia that actually sell Disney. Uh, my friend went to Spencer's, that's one of them. And then the other one is EB Games sells a lot of Disney things. And Walmart also sells a couple of Disney things. But this was at EB Games and it is a stemless wine glass set so this one here has Ursula and she's looking pretty damn fine and then the other one is Ariel and she's looking pretty cute and they're just they're stemless glasses um, and they're pretty decent size too which is nice Naj and I use these on a, a daily basis my boyfriend and I um, stemless wine glasses mainly because we gotten a huge set of them as a gift and then we had bought a couple ourselves and so that's just what we drink out of like any drink not just wine but anyways they're a fairly good size the last thing before I show you what I spent my personal money on there's kind of a story that goes along with it it's a plate but I had a plate from the set a while back before we moved apartments and my cat had knocked it down. It was in a plate stand and he got behind it and I say he, it could have been Nala. I'm, I'm assuming that it, it was Taka because Taka is kind of the destroyer in this house. But anyway, so he knocked it down. At first it was just like a chip and then he knocked it down again and it was completely broken. Um, the plates that I had before were from my parents. They had gotten three plates at a yard sale. Um, and if you are familiar with these kind of plates, you know they come with paperwork and all that. This one doesn't. But I had, I think, the fireworks scene, like uh, when she first sees the prince. And then my other friend had uh, the kiss the girl, like the puzzle. And then my third friend had a scene from Beauty and the Beast. The three of us like Beauty and the Beast. Um, I think I'm the only one of the three that really love Ariel the way that I do. This is the plate. Um, I just, I think these plates are gorgeous. I am going to take better care of it this time. My cat will not have access to it. The plate stand that I was using was just one, like, it goes like this and it kind of sits on 
on the ground, kind of on a, on a shelf. So I will make sure that this one is up on the wall so that my cats do not have access to it. When Sebastian is telling Ariel that, you know, the land is no good and it's way better to be down in the sea, it has all the information on the back. So this is number uh, 1825. Um, and it's the limited edition of A Song from the Sea. And I believe this is, yeah, it's plate one in The Little Mermaid. So when I open this up, because Naja has sent all of these things, because he bought pretty much everything online. He doesn't really have the time to go shopping. And when I saw an eBay box come through, I was like, what is that? Because I personally have never bought anything from eBay before. I don't know how it works. I don't know if there's like something special that you have to do. But when I opened it up, I was like, oh my gosh, because I was so excited to get another plate in the series, even though technically now I still have only one. But I love the plate. It's so pretty. The last kind of category of stuff I had received money from my grandmother, my parents, and my godmother, and so I spent most of the money the other day, yesterday in fact. The first thing that I bought is actually the shirt that I'm wearing. So it says, not sorry, and then it has uh, the evil queen Maleficent, Cruella de Vil, and Ursula, and Ursula is the main reason that I bought it. But I don't actually have any merchandise with, you know, a lot of villains on it. I obviously have that cup now with Ursula. And I think, I think that's pretty much it. I have a vinyl record that has Ursula on the back. I didn't really count that because I have it on Ariel right now. Next kind of few things are like beauty related. The first thing that I got was a brow pencil and you're probably gonna be wondering why did you get that shade you're not blonde um but i got this color uh from rimmel london it just is light that is the color light oh there you go so it's in the shade light and you're probably wondering why because i'm i'm kind of a, a darker blonde color, maybe a, a brown. I, I never know how to describe my color because it's always been so weird. The reason why is because I really want to do this. Uh, this is the frost and tip kit. So it comes with a cap that you put on your head and you pull hair through it. And I've done it before. This isn't the first time I'm doing it, but I really like the kind of texture like color that it turns my hair I think it's really pretty um, it's like just the right amount of blonde in my hair and it it doesn't it's not overpowering so I'm really really excited to do this although I was in line about to pay for this and then my boyfriend told me that he liked my hair the way it was so I don't know if I should even do this now but I'm going to because I really liked the way it looked last time. I, it's been years since I've really truly done this because I know I did it before but my hair was already blonde so it didn't really, it wasn't as dramatic as I was hoping for. So I bought this and then along with the makeup items um, I also bought some new liquid foundation because I found my foundation that I was using uh, was just, it wasn't working. So I got the L20 Light Ivory is the shade uh, and it's just CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made, which I don't know, can you tell that I changed my foundation? Does it look better? I don't know. I think it does, a little bit. Then the other thing to kind of go along with my foundation, I also got a CoverGirl Simply Ageless Instant Fix Advanced Concealer. Um, and it just looks like this. And I think this is in the shade Light. 
but it's just a light shade because I'm very pale. The very last thing that I got for my birthday, I've had before, but I had it um, kind of in like a different, I wouldn't say a different shade. This is just white, but I had it in a different formula. Um, and it's just this clear uh, Remo London Insta Fix and matte. It's a translucent powder um, and it just looks like that. I've already used it to do my makeup look today. Um, but it just has a bunch of hashtags all over it. It looks pretty cool. Uh, I thought it was very like powdery. It's kind of, it was like chalk almost. So I don't know if I really like it that much. The powder that I was using before was Rema London, but it was like the matte finish or something translucent powder, and it was a tan color. Um, and I really enjoyed using that. But this one, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of chalk. Anyways guys, that is it for my little haul. Uh, I don't know, you can see Bruno back here. He's just snoozing away. Like he always is. He sleeps so much for a 10 month old puppy. Um, but don't let that deceive you. He does have his moments where I just wish he was sleeping. So I take this in as much as I can. I hope you liked my haul today. I really did enjoy all of the items that I got. Everything that I got was spot on. Um, I have a friend who lives in New Brunswick and she still has yet to give, him, give me my gift. And I know she, that she does have one. I was with her when she bought part of it. Guys, I hope you liked my video today. Um, just seeing some of the Disney things that I bought and, and uh, had gifted to me. If you liked what you see and you want to see more of this guy over here, the sleeping puppy, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, and if you like Disney things as much as I do, maybe you like Ariel as much as I do, then don't forget to subscribe uh, because I will most likely be getting more Ariel things in the very near future. But with that being said, I hope you guys all have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you all later.